God. The term usually means an automobile stripped down to its bare essentials for the sole purpose of going very quickly. And anyone that's ever driven one knows that they're not known for their comfort or refinement. So what do you call a souped up Ford Crown Victoria, a car known for its pavement eating ride, but now with more kick under the hood than some mega buck exotics? What do you call a king size Luxo Cruisin' hot rod? Well, you call it the Kenny Brown Panther. Or to paraphrase an old commercial, you can call it a luxury car or you can call it a performance car. But one thing you'll never have to call it is slow. That's because the 2002 Kenny Brown P2 Panther, all 3,908 pounds of it, will sprint to 60 in only 5.2 seconds and rocket through the quarter mile in 13.8 seconds at 102 miles per hour. That's two tons of fast fun. Fun plus the smooth power delivery that the Ford Crown Victoria is known for, as well as a distinctive whine that can mean only one thing. This V8 is supercharged. Yep, it's a blower that makes the Panther so fast. Ford's 4.6 liter single overhead cam V8 is made into an Eaton positive displacement supercharger to which the KB boys have cleverly added an intercooler to produce seven and a half pounds of boost. Along with a more efficient fuel delivery system, recalibrated ignition, high flow intake, and a sweet sounding low restriction dual exhaust system. The exhaust offers a choice of authoritative or our test car's optional aggressive flow rate, which is part of the high output performance package. And output on our latest Panther prototype is high. 350 horsepower and 400 pound feet of torque. That's 25 more horses than the previous Panther and no less than 130 over stock. All fed through a reprogrammed four-speed automatic transmission that ships quick and firm, but without the harsh slap of some modified slush boxes. But as a wise ad writer once said, power is nothing without control. To keep the P2 Panther's prodigious power under control, the KB crew adds heavy-duty bracing to the Crown Vic's chassis to reduce twisting. It also gets the company's firmer Turing suspension package. And on our test car, the available 8.5 inch wide, 18 inch in diameter Ronell alloy wheels wearing Michelin XGT Z4 tires. All this makes the Big Panther as sure-footed as many smaller cats. Mild front push gives way to sharp mid-corner response and mild controllable oversteer. There's tons of grip and almost none of the body roll of the stock platform. The only disappointment is the power recirculating ball steering, which has the same fluffy feel as that of the stock Crown Vic. All that power to go is matched by the power to stop from 60 and only 121 feet. Our Panther packs ABS, available 13-inch vented disc, Brembo calipers, and stainless steel front brake lines borrowed from Ford's Mustang Cobra R. Brake pedal feel like that of the steering is a bit soft, but power and stability are first rate as is the P2 Panther's manners off the test track. Unlike many tuner cars, including some of Mr. Brown's own Mustangs, the Panther is a refined everyday driver with a smooth, quiet ride, albeit one with rocket-like acceleration only a right foot twitch away. And like its tamer Crown Victoria cousin, the Panther is a very luxurious machine to spend time in. Except for some subtle carbon look trim on the dash and a numbered dash tag, it's the same tasteful, comfortable, and efficient cabin that the full-size Crown Vic has long been known for. While the 20.6 cubic foot trunk is probably the biggest you'll find in any high-performance sedan available. And to top it all off, there is the Panther's aggressive law enforcement look with the available monochromatic grille. And with the lowered stance, courtesy of the rebuilt suspension, the Panther is one big, bad-looking car. What a package. A package that you can own yourself with just a phone call to Kenny Brown's Indianapolis headquarters. Pricing starts with a Crown Victoria Sports Sedan's base of $28,740. On our car, it continues with the P2 Panther package for $17,500. The optional Auburn Limited Slip Differential for $590. The Ronal 18-inch wheels and Michelin tires for $2,300. And the brand new 350 horsepower high output option, which has not yet been priced, but altogether plan on spending about $51,000.
But if that's too rich for your blood, you can opt for the P1 Panther package, which includes a milder, normally aspirated engine making 245 horsepower, as well as the Panther's retuned suspension and reinforced chassis for only $5,950 over the price of the stock car. And if you have too much money, you can opt for the armored P3 Panther, a bulletproof executive protection machine for an added premium of $34,300. So what do you call a Ford Crown Victoria with 350 horsepower, sports sedan handling, and secret service looks? You call it the most balanced package that one of America's top tuners has ever delivered. You call it the most exciting full-size car that we've ever driven. You call it the 2002 Kenny Brown P2 Panther. I hope you'll join us next week for more Motor Week, when we'll test BMW's M3 Coupe and Convertible, as well as Mitsubishi's Lancer OZ Rally Edition. I'm John Davis. We'll see you then. To learn more about Motor Week, television's original automotive magazine, visit PBS Online at pbs.org or America Online, keyword PBS. Motor Week has been brought to you by Pep Boys. No matter what you drive, Pep Boys has over 27,000 items in stock, virtually any part for any car, with all the name brands you know, plus service bays staffed with ASE certified technicians. Pep Boys, parts, tires, accessories, service. And by... What are you looking for? eBay Motors.